If you've ever had this feeling that something was terribly wrong with the world that we live in, but you couldn't figure out just what it was, then you've come to the right place. Secret societies, mystery religions, and the Illuminati have been controlling our reality since the beginning of time. But not anymore, because there is an awakening happening, and you are about to become a part of it. Wake up, because this is a call for an uprising. This is a call for an uprising. Welcome to today's show. I'm going to talk about something in regards to tracking children, tracking adults, which of course is being passed or at least being discussed over in Israel. Surprise, surprise. Now, I want to remind everybody out there, those are things that can't be talked about here on YouTube. Uh, Some people might be able to, every time I talk about it, I end up saying something that's considered hate speech. I don't know why. I think most of the time when I defend myself, people consider it hate speech. YouTube certainly does. I don't know if it's because I run people over with my words or they're just intimidated by someone who raises their voice. I don't know. But on my website, a call for an uprising.com, I have a video I uploaded today, which is all about the unholy the relationship between Christians and what is known as Zionism, which is really a political movement. I used to talk about it all the time on my channel. I still talk about it, but I can't really get into deep detail because what's the, why would I do a video on it if I know it's going to get a strike? You know, my goal isn't to get my channel shut down, but that's what the website's for, to talk about these things, to explain it, to teach it to people, and you to teach me things, everything, for us to interact and not have to be censored and worry about what we're saying. So it's over on my website at callforanuprising.com. But let's get into this in regards to the outbreak, because here's just another C-19 garbage, which is being, you know, (laughs) pushed down our throat, coming to you directly from the land of Israel. Take a look for yourself. In a recent speech, Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu said Israel is developing technology to fight COVID-19. Technology that we haven't activated until today, technologies that are accepted according to the law, we will activate them. That means maybe new methods that we are currently working on. I also spoke to our technology heads that they would look for all kinds of means that the state of Israel is really good at. One of those technologies would include sensors. There would be one on everyone, every person, every child. First of all, regarding children, there would be a sensor like a car. You get too close, it makes a noise like a buzzer. I don't know if this is possible. We're checking this. We're trying this. But we can, through different means, guard against the transmission of corona. The technology could be compared to what's used in Mobileye for cars that warns about the danger of getting too close to other vehicles or pedestrians. But the prime minister quickly faced criticism. A cyber resilience expert told a major Israeli publication While she understood the idea in theory, it wouldn't work for humans. It would not pass any practical or legal test. Another concern, who would use the information from the censors? So here we have it, right? Calling for a proposal to microchip children who return to schools and kindergartens as the C-19 lockdown is lifted. So this is the life after this entire facade has gone on from People not being allowed to talk to each other, to be near each other, people losing jobs to robots, right? A world without meat, they could tie that into their climate change agenda, or they forcing people to eat plant-based meat. These are all things that I've covered for years, which it's all coming into fruition right now. What shows you prophecy is being fulfilled in this end time period as people continue to turn away from God. Then you have this, right? Life after the lockdown, Proposals of microchipping children. Speechless, right? Now, it was mentioned adults and children, but there's a preference on children because adults are likely to say no to this type of stuff. You're seeing more and more people wake up during this outbreak because people are going, this is uh, something suspicious about it. But the children, the generations beneath us, those are the ones that they're targeting for this. They know that we're not going to take the vax. We're not going to forcefully take it. We're not willingly taking it. So tough. But they're prepping the kids for this stuff. So now on to the, the nonsense that is this microchip. So while he's speaking, well, then Yahoo is speaking at a press conference, the prime minister of uh, Israel, 
he suggested that the, <laughs> I mean, I can't even believe that I'm reading this stuff. I can't. And I know I've been talking about it for years, but I, sometimes I would convince myself that it wasn't happening in my lifetime. And I'd say, well, hope, hopefully I'm preparing the youth out there for this because I'm going to be too old. For, the old expression, right? I'm too old for this blank, right? And it is happening. It is coming to fruition right now. And that's not fear mongering. That's truth. You know, and I hate to say it because I know people out there have kids and they, I don't want to cast a bleak uh, future on the children. The children are so important. So if you are someone that has kids, I'm not saying, oh, they're screwed. They're doomed. Your children need to be raised as warriors in scripture. They need to know the word. They need to be strong in their faith. And they need to not be reliant on big brother. Those are things that are extremely, extremely important for parents to do in this time. So while speaking at a press conference Monday, Netanyahu suggested the health ministry use new technology to help Israel adjust to its new routine as the state is lifting the lockdown. That is technology that has not been used before and is allowed under the legislation we shall enact. So they're going to make it law. And it shouldn't surprise anyone who's fully awake that this would all start in Israel, right? Like I said, that's stuff you can learn if you don't know about it. On my website, there are some YouTubers who talk about it. I'm not sure how they get away with talking about it. I just know my past on YouTube, how many times I've gotten hit for hate speech. And I just think it's maybe the tone I speak or because I'm aggressive. But it's something that everyone needs to know. So they said that they've in Israel, Netanyahu said, I spoke with our heads of technology in order to find measures uh, Israel is good at, such as sensors. For instance, every person, every kid. And he wants it on kids first. Remember that would have a sensor that would sound an alarm when you get too close, like the ones on cars, which you heard him say, right? But why do you think they want it on kids first, targeting kids first, right? Because they're going to get used to having this their entire lives. This is going to be normal for them because they're five years old. They're not even going to know what it is, the sensor on them. And the chip doesn't have to be something that's in the body yet. Remember, they use this stuff to get people used to having it on them, wearing it, right? That's why the phone, people pretty much, you, we hear people, the expression that people wear, are wearing their phones because they're on their phones so much. To the iWatch, right? To all these things where technology has taken it one step closer to a chip being inserted in you. Now, if this is a chip that's just on you as it like a, you know, somebody on house arrest that's around your ankle, well, of course, this is going to prepare them for the future where they go, look, instead of having, they're going to grow up thinking that this is normal, right? Because they're going to have it from five years old. They'll be 15. They're like, yeah, it's normal. Social distancing is normal, right? Because the repetition of it and hearing about it, it just gets beaten in their head. They think it's a normal reality. And then they go, isn't it annoying to have this bracelet thing on all the time? Yeah, it is. Some days I forget it. Sometimes it itches, you know, sometimes it breaks. Well, how about we put it inside your body? Oh, that would be great. It's just a little grain of rice. That's what they say, right? Dr. Oz, just a little grain of rice. Put it right in. Don't worry about anything with your DNA and the mark of the beast. No. Get it right inside you. We're not tracking you. Wink, wink. <laughs> what a joke. What a joke. It said it would be hard to do to more than a million school children who return to their educational institutions in order to ensure one student sits at the distance of two meters from another. It is fictional and dangerous. This is what some people online are saying. Theoretically, the, uh, the idea behind it Although such distance-sensitive microchips exist in vehicles, it's different in humans. A, co a beeping sound telling them that they got too close to someone isn't enough. And who says it will change anything? All right? So <laughs> it's just the start. But it isn't enough. What's enough going to be? The actual chip? Or why don't, we, why don't we all just remain in our homes and our prison cells with our cameras at every corner monitoring our behavior anyway? Because that's what they really want. So this, of course, is coming to fruition over there. Don't be surprised this is something in America because Americans would embrace this type of technology, right? There's not a ton of pushback here, but the only pushback really is coming from people who are middle-aged and know that this stuff is a conspiracy. They know that they smell the bullcrap. They've already scared the older people. You know, the majority of people who are 16 over are scared of, the, of everything that's going on because all they're hearing about is how they're the ones who are going to get it and they're going to die and they don't want it, all right? And then the younger people are like, oh, yeah, whatever. I'll get, I'll get back into, you know, doing things normal. You could put a chip in me. 
And then it's us in the middle who really are pushing back. Now, I'm not saying every single person who's young isn't pushing back. Because I know there's subscribers here who are in their teens who are. And that's good. You need to continue to learn all these things that are going on in the world. But you need to continue to learn God's word. Because that's going to be removed next. And that's the most important message that we can get across to people. Is finding salvation through Christ. They're removing God. They're enhancing technology. And they're making human beings dependent on technology and on Big Brother to come in and save the day. It's scary. So this starts in Israel. Where does it end? Who knows? Who knows? But the fact that it's being talked about, and it's going to be a law, and they're passing bills, this is what happens. This is what we saw with the Patriot Act. How many times have we seen these bills get passed quietly in the night, like a fart in the wind? They just, oh, did you hear about the bill? No, I didn't hear anything about it. Why wasn't it on the mainstream media? Oh, I don't know. But here's a law that's been passed, right? Just like the H.R. 6666. Right, talking about how they could, oh, forcible entry, we can come to your house and give you the test. Doesn't make mainstream news. I looked for any, anywhere for it to be covered on NBC, CBS, no, no. Now, why do you think that is? Because that's what they do. They pass these laws and these bills, and they go, no, you don't have that right. You thought you did, but yeah, we already passed something. You don't. Pretty scary if you think about it. And sooner or later, they're going to have full power over your body. Full power to vax, full power to implant microchips. It's just a matter of time, but it's also a matter of will. Because nobody's doing anything to me with my will. Tell you that much. A reminder again, check out the website if you haven't. You find more information over there, callforanuprising.com. $2.99 a month, well worth it. People seem to enjoy it. The forum itself, again, you can share all your information there. And talk about these things and interact with people. You can fellowship with people. You can talk about... You know, Bible scripture, things that are going on in your life, just people who are like minded over there. You don't have to worry about trolling and things like that. Sure, you could have disagreements. You can have disagreements with your mother, your father, your brother, your sister, your wife, your husband. That's a life. But it's a great place. So check it out if you haven't. I want to thank everyone again for listening to today's show. God bless all of you and your families.